Am I back? Is it working? I didn't even... Oh my gosh. Freaking internet. Freaking internet. <laughs> uh, okay, I didn't even get a chance to like, um, stop and pause anything. So is the music even working? I'm so... I'm so lost. I'm so... What even happened? My internet just died. Like, completely died. So, cool. Um, I don't know if anybody's even here or anyone even sees me, but, um... I'm trying to get back online after my internet died in the middle of, uh, working on, um, my comic. I wonder if I gotta, like, completely refresh my own page just to see this. I probably do. There might be comments in there, but my whole browser just, like, died. My internet completely died. There was a lot of death going on. So, I'm trying to fix this. Um, shut this. Alright, so... I see a uh, doodle. Oh, we're back. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Um, the internet is just really, really bad in my area. Um, I'm sure I was in the middle of telling a story or talking about something, answering a question. I have no idea what it was. So, I'm at least gonna exhaust my poor internet until it completely goes kaput, um, or until Kim gets here. Did I miss? Um, no, I'm supposedly here now. Can I call you Ballista? You never really mentioned it, because I can't really... I feel like I can't say it properly. Uh, let's try and join these in here. Internet is complete garbage. Yes. Um, my internet... No joke. Um, it is... My upload speed is measured in the kilobits. Not megabits. Kilobits. It's horrible. It's utter trash. And I'm paying for um, what should be um, 50 megs download and 10 upload, which megabytes, which should be excellent. That's perfect, that's all I need. That's like average for other places. And, ugh, it's so bad. So bad. Anyway, my internet, it's utter trash. Now we know that. Uh, I'm drawing flower petals for anyone who <laughs> cares. And the thing that really babbles me is the internet repeater actually blocks my internet. Nice. Gotta say, that's nice. Hope I can do this right without uh, screwing up in there. Okay, that's good enough. Gotta race, get that little center, a little more circular. There we go. Uh, so, anywho, you wanted a game, 65 bucks. Oh, it wasn't a game. Yeah, it was, um, it was such a geeky thing. It was a model. Um, yeah, 65 bucks. So mad. Um, but anyway, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to, like, get little scrap funds together so I can buy it. Because I'm really nervous I'm gonna lose it. Because, um, like I said, models, when they come out, especially stuff for, um, a big series, but, like, Persona, um, they don't make enough of them so that when they're released, they start at one price, which is, like, 65 bucks right now, and then they just utterly skyrocket. Like, um, the Metal Gear ones are like that. The Metal Gear, um, models I have, I have one of them, I think, was around, like, 200 300 bucks at one point. It's ridiculous. I didn't pay that of course But still like it became that uh, like my Charizard um, What which what's my Charizard? Uh, it is a figure arts my Charizard I bought for like I Paid like 25 bucks because I think someone gave me like an Amazon gift card for like for free or something And I spent like another 25 on it. So it was like a total 50 um, but even still um like, that's insane how little I spent on this Charizard figure art. I have a video of it, by the way. And, um, the, uh, the Charizard now, I don't know about right now, he was over $300 at one point. I was so considering selling him. But I was like, no, because I really like it. I mean, I bought it because I really like it. And plus, knowing my luck, as soon as I sell it, he's gonna, like, jump up to, like, a thousand or something. 
So I was like, no, I, I want to keep it anyway because I have the I have the set of them. I have the the Mewtwo and uh, the Kanto trio. So if someday I decide that there's someone I particularly don't like, I just go to their house and connect their repeater in secret to block their internet. <laughs> oh, that is so awful. Remind me not to piss you off, Blazing Gamer. It it was I was thinking it was Sword. What? Do you like Metal Metal Gear Solid? Gang crew, uh, gang crew, absolutely. I started playing the first Metal Gear Solid on my channel blind, and I'm so glad that I did. It is an amazing franchise. I grew to utterly adore it. Um, you can watch me play the entire saga blind on my channel. Pokemon Sword. Oh no 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 no! Yeah yeah, okay, I see. I got you. Um, that makes sense how you thought that though, but no. Um, hold on. I should go this way first because this ends. Do my snake impression. My snake impression's not that great. My David hater. I feel bad about, uh, messing with that, but still. Um, I do a lot more of it in the actual episodes. I even have, like, skits. Um, man, I want to do more stuff like that. I was gonna do a bunch more, but it just took too much time. Um, where I did, uh... I mean, my favorite was the ones for Metal Gear 3. The introduction for every single episode. I, I was, like, dressed like Big Boss. And, like, had a codec thing come up, and I had, like, fake codec calls. Um, the fake codec calls I did with, uh, 2 is obviously where it started. I just did, like, a bunch of stupid little intro stuff in Metal Gear 1. And then, of course, Metal Gear 4 was, like, a little too long, had too many episodes. I was in, uh, grad school at the time. I didn't have the time to make the skits, the skits dropped, and then 5 was enormous, and there weren't really codecs in 5, or Peace Walker, so it kind of disappeared. Um, I'm sure you really will do Pokemon, uh, Sword and Shield. Um, oh, yeah, at one point I'm probably gonna play them, I don't think you guys are gonna let me not play them. So I reckon you're using a drawing tablet, right? Oh, yeah, totally. Ain't no way I'm using a mouse to do this. Especially here, like a line like this. See that? The size changing? I'm doing that with pressure. There's no way you can do that with a mouse. Uh, and that's how you can tell if people can't do it. What character in Metal Gear Solid 5 do you like? Um... You know, um, I made fun of Quiet, but in the end, she's actually a pretty well done character. I just wish they gave, like, more time. I gotta say, I hate Skullface. He's an awful character. And I don't mean, like, a bad person. I mean, like... He's not written well, at all. He was like a really good idea at first, but it was not executed right. Like his plan had so many holes in it. Clearly this game was, uh, five, was pushed out a little too quickly and Kojima didn't quite get to finish, you know, doing his thing. So that really stunk. Um, but still, I really, really enjoyed five still. I went back and I um, made sure that I, what is it, platinum everything? No, that's not it. I. Uh, S rank, that's it. S ranked every mission, caught all the animals, uh, all that stuff. Like, I think I, I think my copy says 100%. Um, ah, stupid Greninja must die. Welcome to the stream after it's crashed and come back. Hopefully the internet will stay on this time. I really want to get one uh, because papers suck for drawing. Um, well, I mean, I, I hand drew everything before and this is my first time I'm stopping myself and saying, nope. I'm going to draw this on the tablet first. Even my sketches, you can even see my sketches are on here. The first time I've ever done that. And actually, I gotta say, this is easier. <laughs> Once I've gotten into it. Best Metal Gear Solid 5 for me is uh, Huey. Oh man, Huey. I gotta say, Huey is an interesting, he's an interestingly made character in that one, which is good because there's not a lot of interestingly made characters in 5. Um, though, Mainly because, like, they, they don't have proper character arcs. No one really ever changes. It's all, like, revenge, revenge, anger. Or, um, characters like Ocelot, who really don't change much. Because they are who they are. And they're more here for the fan service than anything. Um, so, it's a little backwards and odd. But still. I still really love the game. I, uh... I heavily criticize games that I enjoy, so that's why. 
Uh, hey, stupid. It crashed? Um, um, what do you mean it crashed? Oh, the internet stream? Oh, our stream. Oh, yeah. You didn't notice I was down for like a whole two minutes there? Probably more than that. Anyway, what did I miss here? Uh, Fox. Die. <laughs> uh, what game are you playing? You mean like what games am I playing on the channel right now? Or, um, obviously this is not a game. This is Mario Paint. <laughs> no, I'm, uh, I'm actually drawing in Photoshop for my graphic novel right now. Okay, so, um, that line is done. I'm gonna go back over here now. Yeah, because this goes under. Um, I don't know, I guess I'm kind of a perfectionist. Uh, yeah, oh, same here. Same here, man. Guess I kind of a perfectionist. I have a mistake anxiety. I don't finish sketches in general since I get scared that I'll ruin it when I ink the lines. That's, okay, that should be a good reason that you should do it like this, because here, Say I got really precious with my sketch down here, the sketch layer. I can just duplicate the darn thing and then make it invisible. So if I ever actually messed up, I can bring it back again, make it visible again, and there, I'm good. So, you'll, you never have to feel precious with it on the computer. Uh, I was gone while it happened. Oh, I, I didn't say goodbye to. <laughs> hey, Amster, did the stream disconnect earlier? Oh, no, it totally disconnected. You're right. Um, my internet went down. I think I fixed it. So we'll see. Oh, sorry, what are your favorite memes? Um, hmm. You know, I'm not one to seek out memes. Kim totally is. Um, but let me see. Distracted Boyfriend's pretty great. So is Florida Man. If you're just into the news, Florida Man is a pretty, pretty wonderful, pretty wonderful thing that's happened in this world. It's actually a terrible thing, but... Wonderful how hilarious it is. Um, uh, try drawing the Metal Gear Solid 3 Fox logo. Oh, just from scratch memory? Okay, I can do this. Oh god, this looks awful. Something like that? And then there's, of course, like the oval. God, it's so bad. It is so bad. <laughs> I tried. Uh, yeah, that's what I want. It also makes sense since you learn from mistakes, not successes. Oh, yes. I love Florida Man. <laughs> da, 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 da. Yes. Florida Man's hilarious. How far are you with the drawing? Um, this page? Um, I'm actually almost done with this page. If I can finish these, uh, plants, uh, in this stream today, I'm actually gonna be done with this completely for this page. Um, I saw one Florida man stop street fight by running everyone over. <laughs> oh, that's so horrible. <laughs> but I'm laughing too. I'm such a bad person. Oh man, Florida man. Oh gosh. Kim found another one that was close to Florida man. It was like, uh, Iceland man or something like that. I don't know, but it was like this, uh, he was gonna have a duel with Florida Man for being so stupid. Um, I was gone when the crash happened. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, do you plan on shining on the Gen 8 starters if they aren't locked? No. No, you can always hatch those, and I feel so inefficient for doing that. Though, um, I'll, I'll, cause I'm probably gonna want to, um, you know, granted, if I live stream it, I might. It depends on how long it is to get them. If it's, if it's reasonable this time, which I doubt it, because I think Pokemon doesn't want you to do that. Then, um, I'll totally do it on live stream with you guys. Hold me to it, okay? Um, didn't I even say goodbye? I think you did. Did you be like, bye? <laughs> Why? I wouldn't end the stream like that, where it just breaks. And I'm gone. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> um, ah, oh, it's Polish man. That's it, Polish man. Sorry, I thought, I don't know why I said Icelandic. Uh, do you like anything Dragon Ball related? Um, I gotta say, the, um, Team Four Star Abridged series is hilarious. Um, but still, uh, can you draw a, oh, question mark or exclamation point from Metal Gear Solid? Oh, that should be easy. All you really need to do is, like, pan it out like that. 
and then like erase that segment in here and then clean up the edges yeah there we go bring there we're good um i woke up at 10 and fell asleep for like four more hours whoa i woke up at five and fell asleep for like four more hours and i thought i slept in wait let's play on metal gear one and two on msx oh i know i have them i physically have them but i just really don't want to play them <laughs> I've seen people play them. I know what happens in terms of the story of it. I feel like I don't want to touch that game. Polish man versus Florida man fight. That actually really should be a thing. Florida man for Smash Brothers. <laughs> and that's why we don't have a legitimate ballot anymore. The internet is too strong with this one. All right, there we go. Oh, no, 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 shoot, I forgot, they're going in front. The spiraling thing is making it a little tough to draw. Did you hear the news about pedophiles exposed in the Pokemon community? No, I did not. Tell me more. <laughs> they caught you? <laughs> no, tell me. I seriously, I've, I've not heard that. That's actually really concerning. I'm really hoping it wasn't like, um, an in-person thing, not like, uh, just online, because if it's online only, there's creepy voyeurs all over the place, but still. Um, you guys are lucky, when I wake up early, I'm physically incapable of falling back asleep, even if it's three in the morning. Oh, yeah, me too. This, I was so grateful for. This is the first time in forever I was able to fall back asleep, and I think it's because I'm trying to wean myself off of melatonin. I've been on melatonin, I needed, at one point in my life, I needed 10 milligrams of melatonin to fall asleep at all. Do you have a gold Mega Man amiibo? No. I have uh, like eight amiibos, but um, I have like almost all of the Metroid ones. Of course I do, right? Um, I don't have the Smash Brothers Samus. I have the uh, Samus Returns Samus. I don't have Smash Brothers Samus. Uh, but other than that, I've got, um, so basically it's Zero Suit, um, Samus Returns Samus, the Metroid Squishy amiibo, Ridley, um, other than that I have Rob, the Famicom version, um, gosh, who else do I have? Uh, Kim has Pink Yarn Yoshi, um, I have a Rider Link from Breath of the Wild, um, Shulk, because it was the only Xenoblade figure that existed, and, um, gotta say, I guess, I think that was it. Um, King Nappy was caught dating a 16-year-old boy when he was an adult. Whoa. It was King Nappy and some other people. Really? I actually remember that guy's name. Um, have to go, it's pretty late here. It was a very nice stream, though. Thanks for joining, German. All we do here is just sketch around and chat. So, glad you had some uh, time to chill with us. See you next time, right? Uh, sleep? People sleep? <laughs> sleep is very important. Don't be like me. I neglected sleep for too long and I got, like, super sick. I actually went to the ER because of it. Um, is this mix of the me theme? I think it was. That was a mix of the me theme. Which was kind of weird. Um, so bye. I'll see ya. Uh, King Nappy was called Man, that's crazy. What's your favorite anime? Um... To be fair, I haven't really gotten to watch anything new in forever. So, uh... I don't- I'm- I'm probably not a good one to ask this. Uh, Kim right now is re-watching, uh, cause she's- it's like, probably her favorite. She's re-watching Code Geass. Um... It's okay, I have a lot of issues with it for like character issues and things like that, but it's not bad. Um, though I can't, I probably couldn't like watch it through myself. There's just enough issues where I'm like, yeah. I'm really picky with narrative, which is why Japanese storytelling, which is more about like the visual aspect than it is the story and the characters, which is what disappoints me. Except here, I'll throw one out to you that I love. 
Durarararagur, which I've only seen the first season of, to be fair, I've never even seen more of it. It was spectacular, because it was the opposite of that. It was all about characters and how they develop, and not the other way around. The boy was hoodlum scrafty? Uh, Sam Smeeva with two cannon arms, I've seen that. Um, I think he also tried dating Game Boy Luke. What? That doesn't- Hoodlum Scrafty I thought was older. That sounds really- that doesn't sound right to me. I don't know if you're joking, because I seriously, like, don't know these people that well. I think it was Hoodlum Scrafty who stole my Q-Charm idea and tried running with it with his own series and did not uh, credit me at all. I had to bug him about it, and even then, like, he just canceled the series. I was like, wow, you could have just, like, thanked a random person on YouTube who really could have benefited from, you know, the exposure of that, and you would rather just pretend it wasn't even there. What a guy. Um, I was so sleep deprived, I felt like a zombie today. OMG, Benist to love Gies. Oh, oh, I used to love, okay, okay. I was like, what are you talking about? I have not played Metal Gear Survive. I knew that was gonna be a train wreck. I ain't paying money for that. I hope they, I hope that Metal Gear is not dead though. I really hope it's not dead. When your favorite Pokétuber is technically an Omnituber. Yes, I, I do not like being called Pokétuber because that means I'm not allowed to play other games. And I play other games intentionally so you guys don't see me as a person who only plays one thing, because as soon as that happens, and that has happened on here before, I had a huge audience, a ton of people watching me all at once. I didn't like it. And it's not because it was too many people. I didn't like it because um, I would play like Metal Gear or something and people would be saying like, interrupt the stream or just only comment, where's the Pokemon stuff? And I'd be like, no. Oh yeah, he totally, yeah. Oh, Chugga Conroy. Was he another one who did? Multiple people did. But I know that uh, Hoodlum Scrafty straight up took something down. It was kind of weird. Um, if you play Metal Gear Survive, I think it's good. You actually think it's good? No, I haven't played it. I've seen it. And if you think it's good, I mean, the only good aspects of it are in the Phantom Pain, and the Phantom Pain, I think, did them better. Sounds like a mess to me, but, I mean, hey. I'm glad somebody out there liked it, because, uh, as far as um, the critics are concerned, that might have just doomed the entire franchise. If firing Hideo Kojima was not enough of a, a dooming measure. There we go. Kind of an odd shaped petal down here, but it doesn't matter, because it's a flower. Nobody cares when it's a flower. All right, we're gonna stop staring at this crotch and move on a bit. You know, this just reminded me of like characters I like, I so desperately want in Smash Brothers. You know, um, can I talk about my long shot character that I would like, I would, I would cry literal tears if they got into Smash Brothers. I need Geralt of Rivia. He is so perfect from Witcher. Plus, that would also mean that uh, Witcher 3 would probably, and maybe even the whole series, would probably be coming to the Switch, which would be so cool. Pokétuber, it's what's funny is I usually hate Let's Play channels and found Hammy from a random Poké uh, random Poké. I can't watch Let's Play channels either. I just want to play video games and, and like, chat with people. Ali, uh, can't get behind Q-Charm. I'm so broken. <laughs> really? Q-Charm? You can't, you're, you watch for the Pokémon and you can't get behind Q-Charm. All Q-Charm is about is just like, Q-Charm's just a funny, fun series. It's, I don't really take it seriously and like, oh, I'm straight up hunting and saving these Pokemon. It's more like, hey, this is our target. This is what we're doing today. Yeah, Geralt got in Soul Calibur. He got in um, Mon Monster Hunter. And at the same time um, that those uh, would have been, decisions would have been made to get him in there, is when Smash Brothers was looking for DLC characters. Just saying. Um, he came out about Nappy recently, but Nappy did it to him a few years ago. Um, Man JTV, I'm a Blissey, Marilyn, who are you listing here? Stole. Other people who've done stuff 
Oh, really? Those two? I know I'm a I'm a blissy is like being such a jerk about a lot of stuff and like won't just talk to me. Um like likes to uh, accuse me of like trying to steal money from people for making them cute charm games. And I'm like, you know I have a video on my channel showing them how to do it. They ask me for this anyway. So still. Let's stop staring at this crotch and move on. <laughs> I've had an acceptable amount of crotch staring. I don't know what you guys were doing, but I was, I was, I'm in it for the flowers. Just saying. <laughs> I was drawing flower petals the entire time. I don't know how I could like draw flowers and somehow not be drawing flowers. Um, you're honestly one of the only YouTubers I can watch a Let's Play of. Really, I appreciate that. You know, I feel like um, the Let's Play thing only works if you can relate to the person like a friend. You know, I don't want to sit down and watch some stranger play a video game. You know, for potentially, you know, somewhere between 20 and 70 hours. Like, why would I want to do that if I, I can't even, like, I don't even like the person. You know, I, I don't I don't get that in some people. I don't know, maybe it's too easy is why? Oh, it's not easy. You haven't watched enough. I, there's probably, if you're gonna pick one series that I rage and scream and lose my mind in anger, it's Cute Charm. <laughs> You need to see some more Q Charm episodes. I utterly lose my crap in that. Uh, I wish I could sit down and binge one of your Let's Plays, but I don't really have the time anymore. Yeah. My life, too. Because there's a bunch, like, I would kind of feel like, oh, man, it'd be funny if I, I can go back and watch that. But I really just don't have the time to even see my own stuff. Because I want to see my first experience with a lot of these games. Fortunately, like... Kim has made a couple montages, so I got to, like, go back and see some. Sometimes, what I used to do, instead of, like, obviously at this point where I'm gonna sit down and work all day, instead of streaming, I would, like, let a game run in the side. You know, that I would already played. Velocify. Ugh. Yeah, if I'm on an actual episode, I normally don't bring up really bad toxic community members, but, man. Velocify needs to be ashamed of himself for what he's done. Such a horrible person. You gotta say, such a horrible person. Which is a shame because I remember when he actually used to make good content. I know that sounded like an oxymoron, but the guy did used to make good content. He just kind of figured out at one point how to abuse the system and how to get all of his views as like the clickbaiters and the kind of people who stayed were trolls, so he would basically amass an army of trolls so he couldn't, so no one would stop him from doing whatever he wanted and saying whatever he wanted, even though it was really offending people, he's a cheater, there's so many, so many things. Yeah, that's why I feel like you have a more relaxed and natural character than us. I feel like I'm watching uh, with a friend rather than a celebrity type people. That's what I want people to feel like, because I feel like I only got my conduit to play games originally with, um, friends and neighbors and um i saw people doing uh stuff on youtube and i was like that they're not doing it right because i feel like you want to do it with a friend you don't want to do it with some guy who likes to you know show himself off as like a celebrity that's why the only the only times i ask like for the youtube -y stuff is like like and subscribe and all that stuff is at the very end after you've clearly already watched it so that's the only time i'll actually go into that stuff um well, too easy as an IV hunted since shinies come out. Maxing high IV pokey over the weak grind as I find the one shiny. Uh, as an IV hunted since shiny. Oh, I I've. I have hunted since shinies come out. Making a uh, huge IV poke over the weak grind as I find the one shiny. I'm still not quite getting it. I have also been hunting. I've had shinies as well since they've come out. I I gotta say, and I have a stupid amount of them. Even once you are non cute charmified, if you really want to go there and like accuse me of like, oh, well, you just wanted more shinies. No, I've got a stupid amount of these things. Ah, melee, melee. Actually, the first YouTuber to reply to my comment. Oh man, and you may be the only one up to this day. What's wrong with people? Even when there was like thousands, and I mean thousands of people commenting on my videos like almost every day, I was still replying to everyone's comments. What's 
wrong with people? Why don't they reply to the freaking comments? Sometimes I reply to people's comments on other videos that aren't even my channel. And people are like, oh my god, it's Amsterdam. And, and like, I'm actually talking to them. And, and almost inevitably, the conversation turns to, wow, I, I can't believe I'm actually talking to another YouTuber not on their channel. It's just weird. People who beg for subscribers at the beginning of videos are pathetic, in my opinion. So basically, um, PokeTubers are pathetic. I agree. Um, that's actually why I don't want to be called a PokeTuber, because that just makes me associate to people like A-Drive, who are like, Hey, welcome to this video! Like and subscribe! We have we have to get this many likes! We have to get this many subscribers! No, we don't! I clicked on a video to watch some content! Show me the content or GTFO! And they're not gonna do that, so... Uh, Proza Fia Gaming? Gur, I hate that guy, he's a spoiled brat. I actually, fortunately, haven't even heard of that one, so I don't have to share in the rage, but, uh, I'll take your word for it. There's too many... Too many that are just like that, you know? I mean, people... It could easily be just like, well, some rich kid whose parents bought them all the equipment they asked for. Me, I work my butt off for this stuff, just so I can do it for fun and play with you guys in, in video games online. But, yeah, they're all different people. Just because they have a channel doesn't mean that they're worth watching. Um, it's funny because when the stream crashed, A Drive was in the related channels. I know. I freaking hate, I took the opportunity to unsubscribe there and then. <laughs> you know, there's, I have, I've, I've even gotten into um, arguments with people about how bad A Drive is. He's one of the worst, in my opinion. Because, like, he's clickbaiting people, but they don't want to accept that he's clickbaiting people. Was that the last track? We might have to switch. Oh my. We have to switch. We gotta switch um, games here, guys. Um... Let's go Zelda. Which Zelda game should we listen to? We're playing Link to the Past. Uh, maybe we can listen to some Link to the Past music. Pretty good. Uh, Ocarina of Time, the Oracle games. Um, oh, ooh, a reorchestrated Link to the Past. I haven't heard this. Oh, there's only four tracks on it, or five tracks. Let's listen to this, though. Sounds great. Um... Hey, Hamster, can I see the entire thing? Oh, sure, yeah. So, uh, I'm gonna take the opportunities to save when I go back out. Wow, that is super detailed now that we did that. I hadn't seen it from this far back up till now. That looks a lot better. It's gonna cover up my my bad drawing with more of my bad drawing. I um, also feel like the word PokeTuber is pretty cringy. Glad you're at least an OmniTuber. See, look, PokeTuber cringe worthy. Yes, I agree. Omnituber. <laughs> if you know, if, if if they're gonna make stupid combo words like that, you might as well own it, right? That's the way I saw it. You might as well own it. All right, I'm gonna try and get that pedal on top without goofing this one. There we go. Okay. All right, now those are behind. Gonna lighten it up a bit. Is it too many flowers? It feels like a lot of flowers. Um, cover up crap with crap. Two negatives equals a positive. Um, yeah. The Aurora Guardian. Um, I mean, I wouldn't say he's, from what I saw, I haven't seen him in years. Um, he wasn't one of the bad ones. Um, oh, gotta say, one that, like, was a great one that kind of turned into one of the I don't know anymore was, um, my favorite YouTuber at the time. Uh, Supreme Arcanine. He actually inspired me to start my shiny hunting uh, as a YouTube thing and start filming them. Um, and I've tried talking to him about that. We actually had spoken about doing um, collaborative stuff, but the thing is, uh, that was right when he um, started his relationship with his boyfriend, who has a much larger channel than he does, and that kind of spilled over because they did a couple crossover stuff. And it basically got him a lot more exposure, and then he got really hot-headed, and he didn't want to talk to anybody other than the people he approached. And it, so, there was this shift, and it was sad when it happened, and his channel totally changed. Um, and I actually had so much respect for him, because at one point, he came out and said, you know, I don't really want to shiny hunt anymore, I want to do these fun skit videos with my brother. I was like, wow, that takes a lot of balls. 
you you go, man. And I felt really bad because of the YouTuber, PokeTuber problem. A ton of people unsubscribed from him. I was like, that's so rude. Don't you like him as the person? And then um, he ends up deleting all of the videos, pretending it never happened and going back to Pokemon. And um, he's been doing it ever since and his channel has been blowing up because he's also starting to do some um, videos that are kind of taking, uh, this is kind of horrible. I feel like he's kind of taking advantage of the fact that uh, he's gay to try and, um, I don't know what the phrase is, but like stir up trouble because people complain about it. And because of course some people just are intolerant, but I don't know, it's such a touchy weird subject, but I feel like he's kind of taking advantage of it. That's probably the best way to say it, which honestly, I mean, it's that day and age. There's nothing wrong, I guess, with taking advantage of the fact that, that other people are intolerant, but still just don't bring it up. You know, I think it's just causing problems. Um, not that your shiny aren't legit, uh, et cetera, uh, dork meant like I'm the guy who takes pride in my, like, week's work to find the one shiny. Oh, I still do totally rare shiny hunts, too. Um, to find the one shiny, and then what seems like forever, the decent IV shiny, lol, and you find. Oh, the shinies I'm finding don't have great IVs, man. Don't feel like I'm getting good ones for IVs. Like, many an episode, and I'm like, dang, Flabbit, why wasn't this easy back when I started a shiny dex? Actually, the Q-Charm thing had always been there. You could have just had it. Um, Snicker, you said balls. Balls. Why don't I say balls? I'll say balls all the time if I want to say balls. You can't stop me from saying balls. I found you from Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. I was searching for some gameplay because I was thinking of getting in the game. You the only person I could watch. Really? You know, I, um... God, what was the guy's name? He changed his name on YouTube, which made it so much more confusing. There was this great YouTuber who did a ton of Monster Hunter stuff. And then, um... Yeah, he started changing up games too, which I was like, oh, that's fine. I liked the guy, so I wanted to keep watching, which is one of the things that made me realize for my channel. I want to make sure that I keep playing different things from the get-go so people watch for me. They Even if it's a low count, that means uh, some people watched for me. It makes me feel better instead of like a huge number of people who watched because I made some clickbait. Um, I found a monster from a uh, hamster from MHN. I also couldn't find anyone else playing Monster Hunter who was actually watchable. I gotta say, yeah, I don't want to be a jerk, but yeah, um, I cannot watch Gaijin Hunter or Iceman. Is Iceman still making stuff? My gosh, they're so annoying and like clearly in it for the attention. You know, that's the thing too. I'm like, why are you playing Monster Hunter if you're in it for the attention? And still like there's other stuff too, but still. I'm playing Monster Hunter because I think it's fun. Um, whoa, is that weird of me to make a YouTube channel playing games because I think they're fun? Make a channel where people can just have a community and talk with each other because they just enjoy games? What? No. Gotta farm trolls. Gotta clickbait them. What's wrong with you? Who's the worst PokeTuber in your opinion? Honestly, it's Verlicify, but, um... Of ones that is popular and not publicly hated, I think it's A Drive. I didn't learn about it till around Sun and Moon's release. Um, what? Oh, from Q. Oh, yeah, Q Charm. Balls. Flashback to Shiny Wurmple Hunt stream. Oh, was I just saying balls all the time? Yeah, and I commented on episode three, I think, and found that you replied a few hours later. Honestly, it surprised me because up to that point, I didn't expect a YouTuber to reply. Yo, yeah, I actually I get them on my phone. Not like a thing. I used to have them like that, and my phone was constantly vibrating. I had to turn it off of the notification. So instead, I got this app I can log into, and it'll basically show me um, a bunch of different uh, comments. Only new ones, though. I don't get old ones, which is kind of a shame. But still. Ah, Hyrule Castle. Loved this theme. The worst, the worst PokeTuber is obviously Hamster Bomb. Unsubscribe from him. Man, I totally missed that joke, Doodle. Oh, I should have said that. Gaijin Hunter's fine, but he doesn't really show gameplay and he doesn't have fun commentary. He's just informative. Yeah, um... Well, he used to, I think. He got a sponsorship through Monster Hunter, which I was like, why'd they pick him? 
Probably just because of his his exposure, his reach was larger. Um, okay, can I talk about one person who really bothers me, who's like super popular? Pro Jared. He just like, just hearing his voice and the way he acts, it's just like, Ugh. I just don't want any part of it. I don't know, he seems like too um, smug, is that it? Shiny Vespa Queen is second hardest shiny hunting. I wouldn't say that. There's easy ways to get a female combi. Um, Alex, hold my magic. <laughs> I agree with you. Never like this fire raid drive. I aka Q Charmer. I liked watching your Monster Hunter videos because they looked like real intense battles between man and beast. That's what I thought Monster Hunter was all about, and I think it should be about. When you do it online, it's just like a slaughter fest. It's not fun with too many people. Most other people destroy the monster just in five minutes, no challenge. That's what I like about Monster Hunter. Put me, me, Hunter against Beast. That's why I loved World so much, because the monsters straight up look like ferocious animals. They're so cool. Um, or Wigglytuff. Maybe they picked Gaijin because he actually knows Japanese. That's probably true. It's probably true, because yeah, he can actually do lots of uh, translation stuff and like, explains to a lot of people. Then I kind of had this comment frenzy where I comment on every single image for you video I watched and waited so eagerly all day to see you reply. Seriously? Now, I, if there's too many that come in from one person, sometimes I'm like, I can't possibly like reply to all of these. You know, I have stuff I gotta do too. Um, but still, I, I make sure that I, I read all of them. I do read all my comments. Well, within reason, uh, if it's a reply to something that was 10 years old, I'm not gonna see it. So that's that kind of stinks about my software. Um, PUBG gameplay. I like watching you play Monster Hunter because it's much more fun with the difficulty and intensity and screaming, running in circles uh, from a thousand foot tall monster, just killing it in 20 seconds. Yeah. I feel like it's got to be scary. Oh, I think we ran out of uh, music. I mean, that was good, but it honestly sounded exactly the same as the normal stuff. I'm going to switch to another um, franchise in general. Can I play Persona? Are they going to get pissed? Persona music is so freaking awesome, and I want to listen to it, dang it. So I'm gonna play some. We're gonna see if they flag me. Hopefully hopefully it's not a thing. I got a feeling I'm gonna get flagged for this video, but I don't care. This obviously is not one that I am like wanting to make sure that uh, is gonna get rewatched. This is just me talking to you guys live. In fact, I can delete it for all I care. Um, I think Pro Jared is only popular because he's friends with guys in PUBG and JonTron. Really? Yeah, man, I remember it very clearly. I think you had about 2,000 subscribers at the time, and you've honestly been my favorite YouTuber ever since. Doh. Doh. Uh, Smash Bros. Ultimate Remix list. I wish I could, but, um, the Ultimate one's not online yet. It's too long. Masterpiece soundtrack. Play Monster Hunter music? We played a ton of Monster Hunter music before. But I, I gotta say, the Persona stuff, man. The Persona stuff's awesome. Because I just woke up, and I'm going to make eggs even though it's 3.20 p.m., I think I'm having eggs for dinner, so we'll be egg buddies. They threw the entire Monster Hunter World playlist on Spotify if you want. Really? I actually don't even have a Spotify account at all. But that's pretty sweet. I think Monster Hunter World's play we did play that one at one point. I'm trying to um, play a bunch of different franchises for the music on these streams, even if I'm not allowed to play it. <laughs> This is the intro music to the game. Come on, Eraser, what's wrong? Ah, it goofed. Actually, that kind of looks nice. Here we go. Looks like a little potato turd. I agree with Doodle. I watched and played along with Monster Hunter 4 with you for a bit, and the screaming with one HP had me lolling too hard. Oh, man. I miss that game for its difficulty, but at the same time, like, Generations Ultimate's difficulty spike is so much that I ha I feel like I have to play it online because I tried making some episodes in G3, uh, Lagiacris and um, Rathalos, and they're just too intense to where I'm like, it takes me 30 minutes to take them down and the video's too long. Um, you know, it, it's like annoying to watch because it takes forever and I feel bad, you know, so I'm like, I don't want it to be that long. Um, but at the same time, I gotta compromise something here, so. Same thing happened with World, but it's okay. I also remember your first stream, I was actually on a drive stream and instantly switched over to yours. <laughs> I saw you streaming. That's also the last time I remember being on a stream. You know, 
I only wish there were just more people doing this like me. I wish that they were the popular people. I don't care if I'm the popular one out there. I just want to see that the big popular ones are ones who do pay attention to the people who are making them what they are. Perfect lyrics that just popped up. Listen to the lyrics to this song. I just realized um, that it was like so perfect. If you guys don't know what this is called, this is called um, Wake Up, Get Up, Get Out There, I think it's called. Yeah, Wake Up, Get Up, Get Out There. Look up the lyrics to it, especially um, verse two is what just started playing. I was like, that is perfect for what we were just saying. Um, oh, yuck. Uh, raises eyebrow and here is egg buddies. <laughs> I'm collecting quail eggs and checking incubator. Huh. I just felt that there was such a difference in personalities that it couldn't go back. Yeah, once you see and you realize, hey, they don't have to treat me like I'm just a random number and ignore me. And just kind of take everything I do for them for granted. Um, quit being so modest, Alex. We like you for your personality. Dang, gum it, I'm gonna be a jerk. If that's what I gotta be. And I feel like I am a jerk sometimes, and I feel bad about it. Sometimes I'll say some really awful stuff to people because I'm... I've done this before. I'm honestly just trying to make people laugh and say something funny, and I realize I actually said something really offensive and mean. And I'm like, oh, I didn't do that. That happens. Ugh. Oh, shoot. This one has five pedals? No, it doesn't. Whoa! Did I undo? Oh, no, that's my save button. My bad. I'm an idiot. Such an idiot. Oh, hey, we got the boob flowers. Um... You never see it coming, did you? I never saw it coming. <laughs> Remember when A-Drive is less popular than Hanscom? Oh wait, he's already better than A-Drive. Doll. This, it's just in terms of numbers, here's the problem. YouTube, the company favors people like A-Drive, not for personality, but for the fact that they are shepherding in people with clickbaity-esque tactics and utilizing the system in order to grab people and keep them watching with more stuff, regardless of the quality of the content. That's all YouTube is about. YouTube is about watch time. Whoa, whoa. I'm somehow drawing on layer two. Oh man, I gotta redo that flower. That stinks. Um, That should not be like that. Well. Gotta fill this in. Basically, anything on that layer should not be drawn on. That that is white. That's my drop. White. Oh shoot. Uh, control zero. Is it even filled everywhere? Uh, let's find out if I do this. Control T. I'm just gonna make it extra big just to make darn sure it's covered everywhere as white. So yeah, see it wasn't. All right. We're going back in on inks. I probably missed a bunch of those. Do you have a favorite music artist? Or I, I'm sorry, I even I missed an earlier one. Um. Actually, I lied. I went to a stream once uh, after to see what it was become like, and I couldn't stay for more than five minutes. Honestly, I tried watching. There was some video he did. I was legitimately trying to get information from him, and I just couldn't stand the way he was treating me. Munching Orange does it too, really bad too. I don't. Is he still a thing? Uh, do you have a favorite music artist at the moment? Def Havana. Yes. Hanser, I believe the next uh, AT in World is I think Extremeth, but if not AT Lunastra, I want to see that. Ugh. Ugh. I think it's Lunastra. I mean, I feel like it looks like I'm being trying to be a suck. I'm being on your good side or something. But honestly, what could I possibly do, you know, to um, you know, give you a favor? I, uh, I, even if you were trying to get on my good side, what good would that honestly do you? Oh, I'm drawing with white. Oh, shoot. But I don't know. Like, I, that's why I can tell you're being sincere because I can't do anything for you. Um, other than say like, hey, Blazing Gamer's my favorite. Blue wrench wielding and all. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. Uh, there is no way there is gonna be an uh, arc-tempered arc extremeth. Yeah, no. But if they even try and go there, you know people are just gonna try and beat it. Granted, the normal one extremeth is like hard enough and people are like, yeah, no. Sorry, I'm like behind here. Um, so what's happening on this panel? Um, a lot of, it's a conversation from one person who had a lot of dialogue and I'm basically drawing the listener who's coming to some sort of realization while hearing it. That's all I'm gonna tell you. 
because otherwise I'm spoiling the book and I don't want to do that. But of course, since you're staring at it for so long, it's probably something that has been a, a question that is a, a legitimate question. Um, Extremeth is legally arc tempered because he's very hard and event exclusive. Good point. A good point. Um, honestly, you just thought of the arc tempered Lunasters literally making me gag. Yeah. I see you there. Is this the one with the vocals or no? Um, I don't know. People like attention. Yes. Oh, you're talking for my, what I can do for you? A attention. It's about it. It says to have the vocals. Oh, uh, what are the specs of your PC? I built it myself. It's good. It's been a while. Actually, I just put in a solid state drive. I got one for my birthday. It was one of the things I asked for that I was like, oh, I could really go for a solid state drive. And I got a solid state drive. I was very happy about that because I really need it. So, um, just saying, now is the time for Kim to come in because I know she's actually got off work at, I think, three. So this would be like the perfect place for her to jump in. Like, hey, I'm drawing flowers over boobs. God, our tempered behemoth. No, she's not a thing, guys. He soloed Luna three times, got double tickets twice, basically luck. Yeah, nice. Uh, because they are triple stats. Ugh! See, with that armor and stuff, G rank's gonna be a joke. I don't see why people are doing that. Apex Rajang is honestly easier than normal Rajang. How would you even justify that? Okay, um, also another funny fact, you're the only YouTuber I only sent fan mail to or donated to. Doll. Is it bad that I still play for you and recently with some other players got into G-Rank in it? Uh, why would that be bad? Some players got into G-Rank in it. Why is that bad? I never even touched Tempered Lunastra because she seriously scares me. That and I don't trust randoms at all. I don't trust randoms either. Honestly, I would rather do that solo. I've heard they're actually easier solo because of the HP drop. Um, so, I mean, that's a thing you can take into account. These look like beans. Let's try and get hit with, uh, Apex Rajang. You have to try to get hit by Apex Rajang. Why would you even say I've been hit by Apex Rajang? I think. Well, granted, regular Rajang, at the time you fight him, yeah, he's kind of scarier. I think. The, at the point when you fight Apex Rajang, you're prepared. If that If that's what you're trying to go for. Talking about difficulties in the game, I've been into Pokemon Mystery Dungeon 1 again and compared to the latest in the series, boys, Mystery Dungeon 1, easy, the last ones are hard. Um, I've noticed that Pokemon games have been progressively getting really easy too, though you guys have told me the Ultra games have been a little tougher, which is nice to see. Um, I could have sworn there was another game that I had a difficulty issue with lately. Um, I also remembered making our tempered Vol armor, um, uh, be, 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 uh blah, because Geralt armor, but Dragon Helmet focus. So what do you want to be one of the highest health pools in the game? Cause you're bad at Monster Hunter, dude. Doll. Okay, I got one of these bigger ones up here. Oh wait, never mind. Uh, and his gas does way more damage. It's basically acid, but a gas. Ugh. Um, I've done the tempered one a couple times. Once with you guys. Once with Matt. But other than that, um, I have not had to deal with that tempered one yet. Other than those. I gotta erase a bit of this arm. Oh, I don't wanna erase too much, because that's the edge of where the sleeve is. I wanna make sure that's clear how that works. Um, let's fill it back in. Um, everyone says Skitty sucks, what well, rocks a mystery dungeon. Double slap is amazing early on for bosses. Oh, Skitty is normally not given out in Pokemon games that early, so there's a lot of Pokemon that if you had them earlier, you might have a better appreciation for how good they really are. Oh shoot, I didn't want to go that direction. Okay, that's better. Now I got a couple of lines to erase. These are on top. Gotta paint my floors. 
That wasn't saying floor like the thing you stand on on the ground. I'm talking like badly pronounced flowers. <laughs> Paint my floors. Here we go. That's a good one. Um, you know the... Oh, Rajing and G-Rank goes faster when he starts raging. It added to the fact that he has a really short fuse and immediately goes back to rage. Then armor mode seconds after leaving it. What? You know the blue acid in Vols Arena? That's basically uh, uh, Arc Tempered Luna in the entire map, except twice the DPS. Ugh. Ugh. That's horrible. That doesn't sound fun. Uh, also, Arc Temper goes uh, to different areas and his roar is when he sleeps. And it should be Arc Temper change more than Vol Xeno Jiva. I gotta try um, the Xeno one. Granted, I'm waiting for all the events to come online. I also really have no reason to fight any of these Arc Tempered things. I don't really care for new armor and all that stuff. Uh, I honestly just want to keep playing the game to fight all the monsters. So it's um, Kulv Taroth and uh, Ancient Leshen, who I'm mostly interested in. Though, to be fair, Ancient Leshen's really the same thing again. I'm trying to finish up some of these really quick so I can disappoint you guys and uh, have you not looking at boobs anymore. I know. Sorry about that. Um, our tempered Xeno was beyond insane. I've heard <laughs> there's a wild why not on Route 2 as Swarm in black and white. Interesting. That's pretty cool. Uh, balancing in Monster in a World is so bad, it's either jokingly easy or stupid and unfairly hard. Um, well, to be fair, um, you don't get that problem until the very end, and it's online stuff they expect you to do. Kulturoth is a super fun fight. It's a fight I can do a hundred times without getting bored. Easily one of the best monster fights. Really do not like fighting Arc Tempered Xeno. Noted. Well, uh, I might have to do it just so that I can see it, because I'm sure you guys are going to want to see me suffer. That's basically what my Monster Hunter series are all about watching me suffer. I think you enjoy that. Honestly, I enjoy uh, doing difficult hunts anyway, if you couldn't tell, so it's fine with me, of course. But yeah, an arc-tempered Xenojiva. I can just see that being bad, because that implies there already was a tempered one. And this one's arc- tempered different I didn't even fight enough tempered monsters to really even get the difference there so it's weird to me even fighting an arc tempered which I did and we won we fought um Kushala Deora and you will get an episode of that when that happens all right cool more flurs let me save our progress um suffering is the fun part of monster hunter but I like suffering but not the frustrating point. Yes, um, like I suffered in the uh, Silver Cataclysm in 4 Ultimate. It's a 4 Ultimate one. But at the same time, it was so rewarding because it was beatable still. Uh, same for Bombs Over Gogmazios. You know, it's the same kind of difficulty, but still. There's a point where you're like, ugh. Ugh. It just hurts. Like, the, the Behemoth by myself, that was a mistake because the game programmers didn't intend on anyone to try that. Uh, Ancient Lushen is also the most hardest quest yet I heard. He has a pin now that requires Igni or Flash Pod to escape, and he can put a marker that makes all minion chakras attack you. Kushal is the easiest arc tempered, but I still like is actually well balanced. Difficult hunts, huh? Would you consider fighting a shiny Kangaskhan in the dark spots in Glittering Cave, Pokemon X and Y? A difficult hunt you are an awful person <laughs> isn't he a one percent no here more difficult hunt find a shiny dragonite in the fishing tiles uh in black and white remember that dragon island or that dragon tower and there was like a one percent dragonite only in a fishing spot which is like crazy hard to get even a fishing spot, and then you have the one percent, and then Dragonite to shine inside of that. That was always like my dream, ridiculous one to come across. Of course, it didn't happen. Um, have you heard of Sekiro? No. Um, yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Garchomp. Welcome, welcome. We are 
drawn flowers. I'm actually almost done with this page. And when I'm done, I'm probably going to get off because Kim's going to be home any minute. Sekiro is basically deflecting simulator. Deflecting simulator. The only other simula simulator I really wanted to play was um, this like space simulator. I forget what it was called. A, a universe simulator? Galaxy simulator? It was bigger than that. I don't remember. But um, it looks really fun just because I love science and stuff like that. I don't know how accurate it is though. And that's, that's the thing that I'd be like, well, I'd really want to make sure that it's right. So other people like take it at face value. I'm like, I mean, game developers still made this. It doesn't mean that it, the the engine is gonna perform correct. Um, after you spam deflect enough attacks, which doesn't take a lot of skill, you just one shot enemies. Have you tried the game yourself? No. Managed to grab a level 10 shiny salamence in Pokemon Moon. Believe it can get it. Uh, get that dragon. Whoa! You got the level 10 shiny salamence. Do not level that sum somehow up. D do not level that thing up. I read your somehow inside of my own sentence. Wow, I my dyslexia is intense some days. That's what I've seen from the gameplay. You know, the hardest thing is getting a shiny level 15 Salamence in Sun and Moon. Orange and Glaceon literally just... Okay. I don't understand. Uh, it kind of shows. <laughs> yeah, it kind of shows. I'm sorry. I don't know. I can't know everything. I don't have time to play all this stuff. Sorry, guys. I was like trying to concentrate on finishing that one. I don't really like that last pedal, but we're gonna live. Um, also, that's what outright been said. Also, uh, what about that level 100 shiny Magikarp Diamond Pearl Platinum without pressure? You're gonna have a bad time. I've been, uh, well, I mean, since that game, you can use Q-Charm. Um, it's not that hard at all. Actually, with pressure, makes it harder because that means you're not using Q-Charm. Uh, it's only place you can spam deflect and then one shot enemies, huh? Uh, it's not you have to. It's just easy to beat the game if you do. It was just about to be done by now. So I mean, Sekiro Shadow dies twice. You might recognize the full name. Nope, I still don't. I've been like out of the loop for quite a while, guys. Okay. You know, the only loop I'm in is trying to get flower petals right. I actually have to teach my comic class tomorrow. I really need people to respond to me about uh, getting that comic printed. I'm still waiting on getting an advertisement done. Yeesh. Um, it has a lot of unblockable attacks you can't deflect, and posture makes it difficult to keep up. Hey! I'm getting a phone call. This is my ringtone. Yeah, I never liked this track. I kinda wanna skip this one. Hold on. Okay, so. What is. I'm blocking the tanks, you can't play. Guys, you're talking about a game I can't relate to. I don't know what you want me to tell you. I remember that sounds one of my favorite shinies was a shiny slugma from the breakable rocks in the desert area. X and Y. Wow. I have a. Um, really rare uh, shiny Grimer holding his uh, black sludge. Sarah Shadow Dice Twice was made by the same people who made Dark Souls and Bloodborne. Oh, that game. Yeah, I've heard of that one. Also, you missed the New Year event in World Kill Five Moss Swines, but their giant Bulfango charge you and insta-kill you after you kill all four. The mega one comes out and he uh, turns when he charges. Um. Fangos were in world ew elevator music yeah it's kind of I don't really like that track Alex answer the phone Alex quit hang up the phone Alex Alex <laughs> at a job interview Metal Gear theme starts playing my text message is a codec uh, chirp excellent if there's people around who actually get it I answer my phone by getting like getting out on the ground uh, you have a really rare shiny water fetus. I uh, can't remember what it was called. <laughs> no, I actually have a video explaining what that was about. I kind of hope that um, everyone had seen that by now. I'm thinking about just like getting rid of the video. Just because the internet is bothered by it. Whoa! Photoshop. Must have had it open for too long. Photoshop eventually starts guzzling RAM if you don't close it every once in a while. So. 
kind of wanted to stop that. Um, well, Fangos were basically in a world the Moss Wines attacked like them. Oh, so they were big Moss Wines? I'm not really understanding. Is it, So the game didn't consider it a Bullfango, is what I was asking. So it's not really a Bullfango. Because that would have been weird. Like, they coded a new monster, and... Though I wouldn't be surprised if they were not an Iceborne, because Bullfangos really fit that area. At least I think they do. They're a real tiny one just to upset Kim. Um, imagine you get a call in public and you drop your knees and hold the phone awkwardly while you're answering. Imagine I've done it. <laughs> no, Moss Wines are passive. I know, exactly. And they run when you attack. Well, no, they'll scream at you. They'll stay and they'll get mad at you, but they won't attack you. They can't do damage. Uh, Bullfangos were the bane of my existence. Oh my gosh. Like, first game Bullfangos, those are awful. They hit like a truck. Yeah, the Bullfangos first game, I just know. I just know. All kinds of know. Drawing over the hair is going to be interesting. Now watch, Kim's going to come back and be like, alright, you got to move this leg, you got, you messed up the chin. And be like, it's so late for changes like that. Um, Alex, I'm sick, and to give you a hand is Jaime. Ah! Jaime! Thanks, bro! <laughs> How many times have I messed your name up? And I glance at him like, it's, it's my memory. This is Alex. This is Alex. Who's using this frequency? It's me, Kim. What do you want for dinner? Snake. <laughs> do you have a DeviantArt account? It's super old. Don't look at it. Ugh. Um, you would be fighting a, let's say, Tigrex, and it would come out of the depths of hell just to ruin your game. I'm I'm seriously calling it. Tigrex and Bullfangos, Monster in a World, Iceborne. I'm telling you, it's gonna happen. I don't see why it wouldn't happen, honestly. This looks like I did this more with petals, which were from the hydrangea bush. Kim just needs to know how to color them. Now, if only I can erase the right spots. Shoot, comments are flooding in. I see that, and I can't quite draw fast enough for you guys. I'm sorry. I'm trying to draw and answer comments at the same time. I'm um, talking from a for you perspective. Oh, uh, there were giant monster ones that attacked like Bullfangos, and there was a charge, was unblockable, temporal, mantle, dodge, and insta kill. Then the massive one came, a good god, I've seen that thing quad cart. Confident Bulldrum will come in ice form. Um, it fits too well. True. Super old, he's still alive. What was I talking about? It's just Sergios, hope they will be as annoying as the first game sale. Come on, Sergios can go in ice form, right? Uh, maybe. I mean, he's super similar to other monsters. Uh, he's Mr. Worldwide, proceeds to find Alex on DeviantArt, types in a keyboard. I don't think you'll be able to find me just like that. Hamster Mom, you might, which would really be embarrassing. Um, kind of fixed Vespoids in World, so I'm hoping they would do the same. True, they really fixed the Vespoids. Uh, fought my first G-Rank, Seregios, yesterday. Got him gem first try. Uh, and I know these websites are super cringy. These websites. Oh, DeviantArt? Oh, it's so old. It's so old. I don't even know how old it is. Like, I just got into uh, high school is when DeviantArt was a thing. We all kind of considered it like a MySpace because it kind of died, but somehow is still there. We thought it was basically there just for people who wanted to post porn and um, uh, My Little Pony, which is not too far from being the same thing. Um, depending on who drew it. So everyone was like, all right, abandoned ship. DeviantArt's busted. It's for, it's for the pervs. Um, it probably isn't anymore, but I have no idea. Oh, it still is? It's all My Little Pony and Naked Anime Girls. Ah, okay, I was right. I said it, just saying. It came out of my mouth. You don't have to uh, doubly explain that one. I got that, it's easier to erase if I just do this first. I love their boss battle themes. Um, that is actually a good description of DeviantArt's content. It's just those two things. Or it's just for perverts. If you're just trying to combine the two together. Because sometimes those two have been combined together there. 
in ways that I never wanted to see. You can't just like browse DeviantArt either. You gotta make sure that like nobody's watching you. That's when I was like, all right, I got, I'm just gonna stop using this. I'm just not even gonna use this anymore. Um, you got the lollies and furries. Ooh. Uh, we'd have to get another intruder in Iceborne, be either Sregios or Rajang. I think it's gonna be Rajang. Um, a new one like the Juice, all three, and G rank is gonna be fun. Sarcasm is real. Uh, I've been in that place. Uh, it's a breeding ground for fetishes. I've seen it. There was all weird things and monster girls and stories of several genres. Oh! 50% made of good art, 50% made of pedophile. <laughs> um, make it Sergios. Sergios would be pretty sweet if he got in, but I gotta say, um, my pick would be with Rajang. Uh, I do like me some half-naked, uh, anime girls, but <laughs> for that I can just go and play Fire Emblem Fates. I freaking knew Fire Emblem anymore was just there, uh, basically for the character art. Sounds like Kim's finally home. Good timing, because I'm almost finished. As I mentioned, I was going to finish this up and get off. She's missing on the uh, Persona music, though. Hey, Kim! Yeah? Hello! Hi. It's okay, I'm just drawing my comic. Right. You can intrude. I'm going to go start a fire in the fireplace. Oh. Okay, I already showered today. I don't want to get covered in smoke. She said she wanted to burn leaves in the backyard, which is why I was making the smoke comment, in case you couldn't hear what she said. Um, oh, uh, just in case you were curious, uh, I was talking about something totally legitimate. Um, someone brought up DeviantArt, and now they're all talking about weird fetishes that the internet has, because that's all DeviantArt is. So in case you come in here and start reading some comments, that's what they're talking about, and that's how it started. Just saying. Just saying. And Monster Hunter uh, intruders. Here, Kim. Uh, who would you want to be a Monster Hunter intruder for Iceborne? Yeah, like Devil Joe and, uh, you know, Basil Juice, an intruder. You don't? She doesn't even know other intruders. I'm not going to tell her that one. Fine. She just said she doesn't even know. <laughs> she doesn't even know what other intruders. She's played other Monster Hunter games. <laughs> I think Gameth would fit. Gameth, not as an intruder, of course, but just in that area in general. And I certainly don't want all the uh, Faded Four. Just saying. I really enjoy... Oh, there's not enough leaves here. I really enjoy Gameth. I don't like any of the others. Flowers are so much easier to draw. Like, my hand could be squiggly and messed up, and that's actually naturally what they look like. Oh my god, thank you. Uh, ever since the Undertale ships in DeviantArt, not even once. Uh, I want all of Faded 4. Ugh. Ugh. I'd be cool with Gameth. Because he makes sense there. Glavinus, they'd really have to convince me how something that big and stupid could actually make sense in a real-life-looking game. He's too Frontier-esque for me. Uh, I would never want to see HD Astalos either. That's another one. I'm like, he bothers me. Because he's like, way too unrealistic. He's just electric for reasons. And Bubble Dragon's weird, but I mean, at least you could like try and justify that one. But still, it's a little too strange. Um, it's just beautiful and I remembered Astalos and Glavinus. Ugh. Ugh. Just don't like any of them. Dying of sickness. Can you tell me a tale? Uh, Jaime, let me see. Get, ask me a question then, to get me started on some sort of tale. Oh, thanks, Fire Flame Gamer. I, I didn't see that. Off topic, but I've seen body pillows of great swords. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, man. Japan. 
I've seen a handful of cute drawings in Divina, for example, my favorite Fire Emblem uh, pairing, Henry and Noe. I am not a Fire Emblem fan, as you guys know, so... There goes that conversation. Almost done with this up here. Pretty excited about that. Though there's a few more on the side we gotta do still. Um, Gamoth makes much more sense than the rest of the Fate of Four. Put her in, leave the rest out, or better yet, just make a new Mammoth monster. That actually may be a better decision. Because then people aren't gonna be upset about it. Uh, you don't know good stuff when you see it. Oh, I know good stuff when we see it. Can we just look more at boob flowers? <laughs> oh, we've moved on. We are now at hair. Uh, what would you be willing to watch JoJo Bizarre Adventures? At least the first part is nine episodes. I don't know, guys. I have other stuff I gotta get done. I'm too busy to just, like, sit down and watch anime anymore. Um... My friend made a demon account when they were a young teenager, and her edgy poetry and creepypasta orcs are still up there. We joke about it all the time. Yeah, it's basically, I got really crap stuff on there, too. So, new topic, Alex isn't a, a mamey man, doesn't want to smell like leaf fire. Is this the one? Is what the one? Oh, yeah, um... If you were talking about the you'll never see it coming jokes, yes, this is last surprise. If you need me to like tell you when it shows up, I can. Um, sad thing is some of the best artists I've ever seen are by far hentai artists. It makes me sad. Doodle, what are you up to? I'm sure there's better artists out there. Maybe you're just watching too much porn. You ever considered that one? Um, I like Frontier, uh, how upfront it is, but how every, sort of everything is. Here you, by the way, Ballista. Okay, about the tail. What's the funniest thing that happened to you? That is too long of a story. I've told it before on here, but I have told it. I'm trying to think of like another, an alternate I can do instead that's a little shorter, but I can't think of any. I'm gonna try and end this out here. But like that's let's turn sketch off. Is that enough? That's plenty. Whoa, did I just ink? You made me ink! No, I didn't. Alright. Save back. Now we've got um that little Oh, that's tiny! It's a tiny little splotch of those things. Um, I swear if you're willing to get uh and show you some of the best at first sorry, first. doodle. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Doodle's on the wrong side of the interwebs. Um, the internet. <laughs> uh, I've played Frontier. It's actually not insane as it looks. Oh, I don't care about Frontier in terms of difficulty. What bothers me with Frontier is the fact that its monster designs are horrible. That's why I don't like it. Though some monsters actually came from Frontier first. Uh, and typically the ones that we have are the only ones that are like aren't so stupid looking But it's clearly a different team of people designing the monsters for Frontier because they suck <laughs> All right now these are clearly gonna come from behind so I want to make sure I got a couple that are back here like that And then uh, I'll put one like there All right, I think I'm done here um, Which means I'm gonna control zero and save this thing. Um, that doesn't look bad, considering how there's gonna be text in this bubble here, because of course the layouts are like that. Um, this spot right there is a little barren, so I'm gonna throw something in it, just because the rest of it actually did end up being really thick. Um, I'm gonna put something here, probably one of these. I've drawn so many of them now, I don't need to sketch it. Okay, cool. Um, what else can you do on the internet besides <laughs> doodle? There's plenty of things out there, and it, that's that's uh, not a very productive use of your time. At front of your office, okay, guys. So I have an idea. Grab Nogi to add more spikes. Great, go. 
Oh, please, no. <laughs> That's actually, Nergigante looks like a Frontier monster, and I don't like that. What page are you working on? This is 47, and I'm doing it so Kim can color it early, because it's for the publishers. Um, does the internet actually have another side? Yes, Toodle, we need to introduce you. <laughs> uh, I remember, like, a Sesame Street musical for that song. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Yeah, it's, it's basically really stupid. That's what it is. Um, glad I'm not the only one who knows that. I know that stupid song too. But anyway, um, I'm actually done with this. I'm actually getting really hungry too. Kim just got home. Um, no, you're gonna ugly to be honest. Yeah. I like the colors when he goes rage mode, like his black, purple, and orange look. That looks really cool. But other than that, like, no, I'm not a big fan. All right, so there we are without our sketches. So that's, that's okay. Um, something's still bothering me about it that I'm not sure about. Maybe Kim will fix it with the colors, we'll see. Or she'll tell me to re-ink something because I'm not sure right now. But anyway, um, that's all the time I got for this um, stream, stream for you guys. I'm gonna catch up on comments and I'm gonna take off. Um, Alex, have you ever done sports uh, in grade school? Um, honestly, one that I should have stuck with was tennis. Um, I actually was pretty good at tennis and I enjoyed tennis. Wore me out. I looked like I got out of a swimming pool. I would sweat so much when I was done. I sweat a lot because I just sit all day and I don't do anything, so it's more my problem. Um, so, yeah, but, yeah, should definitely play. I even have access to a tennis court, so I should, but I just don't really have people to play with or the time to do it. There's also, uh, just for you, Frontier and Monster that looks like, uh, Todoroki both use fire and ice at the same time. It's just so messed up. Uh, take that back. Doodle, 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 come on, come on, come on. That comes later. Somebody once told me Nergi the world was gonna roll with him. He's not the sharpest tool in the shit. Go on. Oh. <laughs> I just realized what I was reading. Go on, YouTube flag me for copyright. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. All right, so anyway, I gotta get going. I finished this up. Uh, Doodle, I'm not drawing that on stream. Got that, that comes later. I'm not drawing that on stream. So anyway, so I got these two finished. I'm happy about that. Kim's gonna have to color these so I can show them to the publisher because they wanted to see what the characters looked like. And I was like, hey, these are pages I'm gonna need for later. Let's just do this. Um, but anyways, yes, it has been a pleasure. So thank you so much for joining me. I see uh, Doodle, Cameron French, RNG Glaceon, The Blazing Gamer, uh, Dr. Xavier. I'm gonna get your comment really quick. There's also a uh, Garuba Dora. It's Koosh, but it's golden with crystals. It has burst species. So weird. Uh, what are you gonna do now? Um, Eat. And I don't know. Kim is probably gonna want help. It's already four here. Probably gonna start making some dinner, which is eggs. We don't have money. <laughs> uh, but anyway, that's um, what's gonna be going down here. But anyway, um, that's that. I think that we got everybody here. Exotic Keeper. Um, were you just jumping back in to check on me, or are you saying bye? Because I literally just finished my page. <laughs> um, let me check the sketch again. I want to make sure that the bubbles are in the right spot. Yeah, okay, because I was going to say, the, the flowers are covered up here. I want to make sure that I do cover that later. I almost turned letters on. Oops, don't want to do that. Okay, so uh, I'm going to keep this sketch on for now so Kim knows that's why those are missing. Um, sketch should probably be on for that one too, because there's less text on that page. Um, okay, uh, no opinion. Okay, so I was just making sure. But anyway, little bob -omb wants to say goodbye to everybody. He waves with his footsie tootsie. There he goes, okay. But um, I was mocking your outro. My outro? Oh, boy, I, I do it more with like, but, but, but. can you make that like with your tongue? But, 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 like half a spit? That's how I say see ya. Boy, like that? That's what you were mocking. I got you. I will do that in a moment, Exotic Keeper. But regardless, I just wanted to quickly thank you guys for watching and sticking through the story Dream and our internet crashing in the middle of it. And Fireflame Gamer, of course, thanks for being here as well. And everybody else who's in the comments who is not currently commenting, I want to thank you guys for being here too. Thanks for making my uh, inking time more enjoyable. But regardless, that is all the time I have for you guys for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Remember to like the videos and subscribe for more. And I will see you all in the next stream. Here it comes. Boop!